Hello Hitman fans! This being my first Miami gameplay, the loadout slots are locked. But don't worry, we don't need them anyway. We start with the mission story, turbocharged. We go towards the marker. We take a little detour and pick up this crowbar. It is useful for knocking out NPCs and it is needed at the end of the mission when we exfiltrate via the sewers. We continue towards the marker and eavesdrop on a conversation. from the briefing earlier that we're just supposed to grab him if something happens to it. Gotcha. If the expo vehicle is somehow damaged, Robert Knox will come downstairs very fast and he will try to fix it. Before damaging the car, let's get the engineer disguise. I'll take a coin and a soda can. I'll use the soda can to knock out another engineer. Now we acquire the Octane Booster, a highly flammable substance. We'll use it to transform the Expo vehicle into an exploding vehicle. To complete the challenge Day at the Aquarium, all we have to do is take the Bayside Center keycard. We drag this engineer to a crate. We knocked out two engineers and we'll subdue one more. We have to. The engineers are rather curious and will stand by the vehicle while Nox repairs it. When the engine blows up, because we added Octane Booster to it, one of the engineers will pass out because of the explosion. The Silent Assassin rating will be no more. To sabotage the vehicle, we need a screwdriver. Screwdriver, check. Let's go to the vehicle. Sabotage. Good. I dare say this should get Knox's undivided attention. Add the octane booster. Now we wait for the engineer to call Knox. Why's the engine off? Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. The engineer called Knox, and Knox is coming here. The engineer has outlived his purpose. Remember the coin we took two minutes ago? We're going to use it now. I swear to God, if someone's been tampering with the car, Ed will roll. I need eager to try. In the crate, he goes. Nox arrived at the vehicle. Let's not keep him waiting. To complete the challenge, you got a fast car, all you have to do is enter the vehicle. The father is dead. The daughter will be dealt with using the mission story Pretty in Pink. Let's go to the marker and eavesdrop on a conversation. It's me. I'm here now, ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Talk soon. The guy in the flamingo suit is blackmailing Sierra. The documents used in the blackmail are locked in a van and the keys are here. Before retrieving the compromising documents, let's subdue the guy in the flamingo suit. 
We need the flamingo outfit to carry on with the blackmailing plan and meet Sierra. There is a security room nearby. We're going to hide the body in there. We can open this door because we took the Bayside Center keycard earlier. Blackmailer meet closet. We're in a security room. Let's disable the surveillance system. Let's go to the van and retrieve the documents. Equip the keys and click once. Now 47 can simply open the door. Documents acquired. The body of Robert Knox is being dragged by a bodyguard to this security room. I'm going to wait here for a few seconds. The meeting between the blackmailer and Sierra will take place at the hotel near the emergency bay. If the race is not over by the time you reach the hotel, you'll have to wait outside until it is. 47, the race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. So, oh, nice outfit. Moves. Really brings out your eyes. Miss Knox informed me you'd be here. She has to make sure you brought the documents. So, did you bring the documents? I have the papers right here. Excellent. Come on in. Have a seat or something. I'll let Miss Knox know you're here. So far, so good, 47. Now, let's see where this meeting is headed. Hello. Hey, Flamingo guy. Miss Knox is on her way. Grab a seat somewhere. She'll be here as soon as she can. So, uh, you here for a job application or what? Something like that. Nice. If you don't mind me saying so, your particular choice of attire is maybe a little... I don't know. Off? For a job interview, I mean. My suit is at the cleaners. And you couldn't find anything else to wear? Correct. You must lead a very interesting life, my friend. You have no idea. So, Mr... Hmm. I never did catch your name. Names are for friends. Very well. Straight to the point in all business. Walk with me. Where are we going? Don't worry. What am I gonna do? Kill you in broad daylight. I just want a bit of privacy here. Not about to do sensitive business like this in front of an audience. Good idea. I do care about protecting my father. Which is why you and I are now here. I see. Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing, Miss Knox. Uh, if you need us, just call. We're right around the corner. So here's the deal. You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. So here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting. One, you will leave this place and this country for good, and that will be the end of it. Everyone lives happily ever after. Two, you don't choose option one. Someone dies, right here, right now. Which do you prefer? Not much of a choice, is it? No, not really. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. We exfiltrate through the sewers. You need a crowbar. If you remember, we acquired one at the start of the mission. Now I say goodbye, and until next time, don't forget to have fun.